Okay, so recently my friend saw me using two networks at the same time and he asked me how I did that. So as you can see right here, I'm using both my wired network and my wireless network. So I'm using Steam on my wireless network to download because I have more bandwidth there. And then I'm watching a YouTube video on my wired network. So I'm running a YouTube video on my wired network. So then I'm using both networks at the same time. So if I close this tab right here, you're going to see that my usage on my wired goes to zero because nothing's loading there. So as you can see, uh, normally you can't do this without any third-party apps or some kind of protocol setting because by default, Windows can only use one network at the same time. So for example, if I do the same thing I just did again, if I open Steam and Steam's going to download the program, right? I'm going to open, I'm going to reopen that tab to play that video game. So you can see Steam is downloading and by default it went into my wired network. And then if I try to play a video 1080p, it's not going to load or it is going to load, but it's going to load very slowly. I'm going to have to split my bandwidth on my wired between my download and my video. And then my second connection is just sitting IO because Windows can't utilize both networks at the same time by default. But you just saw me using two different networks, so how do I do that? So how to do that is very simple. I use a program called Forcebind IP. So basically, uh, the link will be in the description. Go to the link, download Forcebind IP 1.2 a zip. So download that. And once you've downloaded that, you're going to get this file. You're going to have a zip file with two files inside. Inside, you're going to get the bind ip.dll and forcebind.ip.exe. So extract these two files into C drive, Windows, uh, System32. Extract it here, I've already did. And if you're on a 64-bit system like I am, you would also have to extract them into SYS while 64. So bind ip.exe right there, force bind ip.exe. So once you've extracted your files to a location that they need to be, Open up command prompt in admin mode, and you're going to know you're in admin mode because it says C drive Windows System32 instead of C drive users and whatever your username is. So once you're here, you're going to uh, ex execute the program force bind by going force bind ip.exe, and then the command you're going to use is dash i. Dash i means select the interface, and you're going to select the interface by going depending on which interface you want. And in my case, I want to bind Steam to my wireless interface. So I'm going to go, I'm going to choose my wireless interface. I'm going to find the IP for it. So there's my IP. And I'm going to type in my IPs. So it tells it that it's going to be force bind, bind this interface with what program. So right now I'm going to find my program, which is Steam. So. So there you go. So you're going to execute force bind and you're going to tell force bind to select the interface and then bind this program behind it to this interface that you've typed in. So once you've done that, force bind is going to open up your program and your program is going to connect through that interface you selected. So as you can see right there, my, wi my Wi Fi network or my Wi-Fi adapter has started transmitting information. As you can see right there, it's using that bandwidth. So if now I open up another tab and watch my YouTube videos, it's going to use my default network connection. So now through Forcebind, I'm able to utilize both networks at the same time. Now to be clear, when I say both networks, they are two different networks because if these two connections are connected to the same network, you're sharing the same bandwidth, then that's meaningless. So yeah, so that's how you use Forcebind, it's a very useful program. So yeah, so that's it for this video.